हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ रेजिस्टर शॉप रेडिस कैश ए मॉड्यूल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दी प्रोसेस टू कन्फिगर दी मॉड्यूल एंड आई एल आल्सो टेल यू दैट हाउ यूजिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू कैन ऑलवेज इम्प्रूव द ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ योर स्टोर बाय डिक्रीजिंग द लोडिंग टाइम ऑफ योर स्टोर instead of using the default caching system available made available by the presta shop you can use this module to use the redis cache system for your presta shop store now let's just go to the presta shop back office to know more about the configuration and process to enable the redis cache as you can see that i have already installed this module and this is the configuration page of the module here a uh, message is also shown that caching is yet not enabled and we need to enable the cache from the performance tab after that only we can configure this but uh, before i will take you to the performance tab from where the caching can be enabled let me just explain you the options available in the configuration settings one by one the first option is server here you can add the redis server ip after that you need to also add the redis server port here after that here is the authentication key which you have got from the redis then next is the database number after filling in all these details only you can click on the save button to configure the caching system provided by redis then there is also an extra option available with the module in case if you use the redis cache whether you want to flush the current database or not you can always choose that from here in case if you enable this option your current database will be flushed otherwise it will be kept as in the same position as it was now let's just go to the advanced parameter section after that go to the performance tab after coming to the performance tab please scroll down to the last of the page where you will get the option of this caching here enable this use cache option to yes after that under the caching systems you will find the option of redis please select this cache php redis option and click on the save button to use the redis cache for your store so this was all about the process to configure and use the module and uh, i have also explained you the process to enable the caching system from the performance tab i hope this video helps you to configure and use the module in the best possible way thank you